Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel Airbus uh, What's It Doing Now? This is a short video just giving you the details of the live stream I'm going to do next week which is the concluding part to the line training live stream which we did uh, recently. Um, thanks very much for all those that were able to attend. Uh, we got a broad level of experience actually uh, from those that are about to commence line training uh, those that had and were in the middle of or towards the end of their line training and even one or two people that had actually completed it that were able uh, to add some uh, value so thank you very much for that hopefully you all got uh, something from it now we got to about two hours in this video which got us up until the cruise before um, we uh, stopped uh, with then the plan to then conclude uh, which is what we're going to talk about next um, one of the changes I wanted to make to the uh, the final part now as we go from the cruise uh, into the approach to add some context to it is looking at a particular airport and a particularly challenging one which will uh, lead us into the uh, threat and error uh, management and uh, new smart brief technique. So uh, we're going to uh, do the concluding part and we're going to talk about an arrival into uh, Geneva. Now the smart brief of which you'll be some of you will be familiar with is a new sort of airbus briefing technique i haven't done a video on that uh, as yet and i may actually do an in-depth um, uh, tear down of the briefing uh, but we'll look at the broad context of it in this uh, particular live stream and we'll put it to work basically so how it how we can practically apply that threat and error management to, to this particular arrival I'm also going to look at the descent and energy management because I think it'd be really useful in a live environment. Um, we've covered that in a video, so if you haven't seen it already, I'll put a link up, up here for you to, uh, to take a look at. We'll also, because we'll have a specific uh, arrival to look at, we can look at the FMGC setup as well and how we can uh, mitigate some threats and how we can plan accordingly using the primary and the secondary flight plan. Right, so let me give you some uh, live um, sort of data, as it were, to what you can expect uh, for the arrival so you can plan uh, accordingly. It's an aircraft, the, well, the aircraft is an Airbus uh, 320. The gross weight will be 61 tonnes. Your arrival CNR is 2.2. There's no flight plan associated with this. Your destination is Geneva and um, your alternate is uh, Lyon. The fuel on board destination is 3.2 tonnes with a CNR of 2.2 gives you an extra tonne and you can expect an ILS approach uh, into uh, Geneva runway 22. Uh, uh, before I go into the detail here just something that's probably worth mentioning I appreciate that the expected weather here would probably mean that the first officer won't necessarily be the handling pilot uh, but just included here for purposes of briefing and the sort of thing to look out for on what we might brief uh, when concerning uh, threat and error management. The METAR, I'll bring all these details up on the left hand side for you. The METAR states at um, 1 to 1500, that's uh, 3 o'clock Zulu on the 12th. The wind is 270 at 23 gusting 35, 4000 meters in rain, few at 200, broken at 600 and um, broken CBs at 1,200, temperature 1.8, dew point 0.09, with a Q&H of 1002. And the report there is that there's wind shear reported on short final. There's a prob 40 at tempo between 12.14 and 12.20, thunderstorm and rain broken at 1,600 feet. Uh, the Leon weather is runway 35 left, ILS approach to be expected, the Metar is 12 1500 290 at 20, 6000 metres in light rain, broken at 600, temperature 19, dew point 08, Q and H 1004. Uh, Geneva arrival, you can expect the Lusart to Romeo uh, with the RLS onto runway uh, 22. So the reason I've chosen this particular uh, arrival and approach is it can be quite tricky. Uh, there's a bit of weather here. There's a little bit of wind shear potentially. There's certainly some terrain. The arrival itself has some complexities. Uh, and for those of you that know Geneva and know this arrival, uh, it can have 
um, it can have some sort of timing and workload uh, management uh, issues with it uh, as well as they like to bring you in a little bit short sometimes. Uh, so I'm going to leave that with you then. You've got all the details that you need. Just a reminder, it's Thursday the 12th of May at 1600 Zulu. If you need any more details, then please get in touch through the channel or through Facebook. Uh, if I've left anything out or anything else that you need or more context, then please let me know. Otherwise then, uh, I'll see you at uh, 1600 Zulu on Thursday the 12th of May. Thanks very much.